Imagine waking up each day with a clear sense of purpose, undeterred by setbacks, unfazed by surrounding chaos, and relentlessly focused on what truly matters. Sounds almost superhuman, right? Yet, this was the daily reality for one of history's most influential figures, Marcus Aurelius. As a Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, his personal notes, surviving through millennia, offer not just reflections of a bygone era, but timeless advice on mastering self-discipline amidst life's clamor. Today, we delve into Stoicism, not merely as abstract principles, but as practical tools for a disciplined and fulfilled life. Stoicism teaches us to transform adversity into advantage, emotional turmoil into tranquility, and life's unpredictability into a source of strength. Whether grappling with daily stresses, seeking inner peace, or aiming to boost productivity, embracing the Stoic way offers profound insights. In a world teeming with distractions and instant gratification, Stoic philosophy grounds us in virtues like wisdom, courage, justice, and moderation. It's not just about enduring life but thriving in it, regardless of circumstances. So, if you're ready to reshape your approach to life's challenges, join us as we unravel the transformative teachings of Marcus Aurelius and how they can shape a disciplined life today. At the core of Aurelius's philosophy lies the conviction that self-discipline starts with discovering your purpose. But what does it truly mean to find your purpose? It's about uncovering what genuinely matters to you, what drives you, and aligning daily actions with that deeper calling. Aurelius often stressed living in harmony with nature, understanding one's role in the grand scheme, and acting in accord with virtues. Finding purpose isn't just about lofty ideals, it's a practical compass guiding decisions, big and small. It's what propels you out of bed each morning, steadies you in the face of temptation, and compels you to fulfill life's duties with integrity. In our modern world, where choices and distractions abound, stoic wisdom is indispensable. It urges us to strip away superficial desires and focus on what's truly essential for growth and well-being. As we explore how to apply these principles, consider what deeply satisfies you or the challenges that motivate you. These are clues to your purpose. Through daily reflection and aligning actions with purpose, Stoicism cultivates the self-discipline needed for a meaningful life. By relying on oneself, as Aurelius advocated, we tap into inner resilience and navigate life's uncertainties with confidence. In today's interconnected world, where external influences abound, listening to our inner voice is crucial. Through self-reliance, not isolation but personal accountability, we find liberation and strength. It's about trusting our abilities, navigating challenges with competence, and fostering a fulfilling journey guided by purpose. Stoicism teaches us to tune out the noise and rely on our rational judgments. Marcus Aurelius held firm that this internal guidance, rooted in reason and virtue, is the most trustworthy counsel. By depending on ourselves, we nurture autonomy in decision-making, ensuring our choices align with our values rather than succumbing to external pressures or fleeting emotions. This autonomy is vital for upholding personal integrity and staying true to oneself. So, how do we learn to truly rely on ourselves? It starts with small steps, making and keeping commitments, setting personal goals, and reflecting on decisions in line with our core values. Over time, these practices bolster self-discipline, making us more resilient and grounded amid life's trials. Aurelius consistently stressed the power of persistence, of showing up not just physically but in spirit each day. This practice isn't about monumental efforts but about the quiet, steady dedication to daily tasks, shaping a disciplined life. For Aurelius, showing up every day meant living in harmony with nature, actively participating in life's rhythms, and contributing to the world through actions, no matter how routine they may seem. In today's world, where distractions abound and motivations waver, the concept of showing up every day gains even greater significance. 
Stoicism underscores the value of consistency, it's not the intensity but the regularity of our actions that fosters true discipline. Progress in any area, be it career advancement, health improvement, or relationship deepening, requires the commitment to show up consistently. Moreover, showing up every day is intertwined with mindfulness, being present in the moment and tackling today's tasks without the weight of past failures or future worries. Aurelius advocated focusing on the present, doing each task to the best of one's ability, turning routine into ritual and effort into improvement. To cultivate this discipline, start small and define what showing up means for you. Whether it's writing a paragraph, doing a brief workout, or spending quality time with a loved one, the scale doesn't matter as much as the act itself. Each day you meet your commitment, you reinforce your willpower and build resilience, embodying stoic principles of personal responsibility and continuous self-improvement. Embracing discomfort voluntarily, as Aurelius and other Stoics advocated, prepares us for life's uncertainties, strengthens resilience, and deepens gratitude. By stepping out of our comfort zones, we expand our boundaries, fostering empathy and humility. Integrating this practice into our lives starts with manageable steps, cultivating mental fortitude and self-discipline one intentional action at a time. This principle delineates between what lies within our control and what doesn't, urging us to channel our energy solely into the former. This seemingly straightforward concept can profoundly alter our approach to life's challenges, alleviating anxiety and fostering a deeper sense of peace and resilience. So, what exactly falls within our control according to Stoicism? Primarily, it's our own actions, reactions, and judgments, our thoughts, will, and responses. These are the arenas where we wield agency. Everything external, be it the weather, others' actions, or global events, lies beyond our direct control. Marcus Aurelius consistently underscored this point in his meditations, noting that becoming upset or disturbed by things beyond our control is not just futile but counterproductive to our well-being. Practicing the dichotomy of control begins with this recognition. While we can influence external events, we cannot entirely control them. The Stoic learns to accept this fact not passively but as a liberating truth. By focusing on our own actions and releasing attachment to outcomes, we can maintain tranquility and effectiveness regardless of circumstances. This doesn't entail indifference or detachment from the world, instead, it involves engaging with it more constructively, directing efforts where they can truly make a difference. In daily life, applying the dichotomy of control entails asking ourselves if a situation is within our control before reacting. If not, the stoic practice is to let it go and move forward. Implementing this principle isn't easy, it requires practice, mindfulness, and occasional reminders of what truly lies within our sphere of influence. Moreover, it has practical implications for goal setting and outcome expectations. Instead of tethering our happiness or self-worth to external outcomes, Stoicism teaches us to find satisfaction in the pursuit itself, in adhering to our values, and in the effort expended. Aurelius and other Stoic philosophers didn't promise a life devoid of challenges, rather, they offered a strategy for maintaining inner peace and dignity amid life's fluctuations. By embodying this principle, we not only enhance our own lives but also influence those around us through our example of calmness and resilience in the face of uncertainty. This concept necessitates a profound understanding of personal responsibility, and a commitment to self-mastery. Instead of adopting a victim mentality, where one sees themselves as a passive recipient of life's hardships, Stoicism encourages seizing control over perceptions and reactions. This empowerment is central to the Stoic belief that our happiness and peace of mind are determined more by our internal state than by external events. By refusing to play the victim, we reject the notion that our emotional well-being is at the mercy of external circumstances. This realization liberates us, fostering greater personal growth and resilience. 
In practicing this principle, we observe our habitual responses to challenges, redirecting energies more constructively and embracing each obstacle as an opportunity for virtue and character development. Each challenge becomes a test of our commitment to our values, cultivating fortitude, perseverance, and resilience, the hallmarks of the Stoic ideal. By embodying emotional independence, we develop an inner fortress of calm and equanimity, engaging with the world more fully and freely while staying aligned with our deepest principles, regardless of life's fluctuations. This principle empowers you to stay resolute in your convictions and focused on your goals, even in the face of doubt and skepticism from others. For Stoics, the approval or disapproval of others lies beyond one's control, and thus shouldn't serve as a source of personal validation or guidance. Marcus Aurelius extensively wrote about centering focus solely on actions and opinions within one's control, stressing that true peace originates from within and remains unshaken by external judgments. Stoic indifference isn't about dismissing others but about upholding an internal locus of control. It encourages filtering out noise that doesn't serve higher purposes or align with personal values. Ignoring naysayers is especially crucial in our modern world, where opinions abound and criticism is readily available. Stoicism teaches us to discern the source and intent of criticism, evaluating its alignment with core values. Practicing this principle involves crafting a personal philosophy resilient enough to withstand external pressures, rooted in a deep understanding of values and objectives. Aurelius exemplified this daily, not just as a ruler but as a human striving for virtue in a complex world. Ignoring naysayers also bolsters emotional resilience, allowing us to focus on long-term visions amidst a culture often fixated on social validation. By choosing to ignore naysayers, we safeguard mental space and actively allocate emotional energy where it matters most, our internal dialogue, which shapes our lives profoundly. This concept stems from the belief that much learning and personal growth derive from observing virtuous individuals and reflecting on their lives. Emulating wise figures helps bridge the gap between abstract philosophical concepts and everyday actions, reinforcing commitment to growth and excellence. Engaging in this dynamic form of learning and self-improvement propels us toward becoming the wise individuals we seek to emulate. It isn't merely about recounting events but entails a reflective examination of thoughts, actions, and responses throughout the day, aligning them with stoic virtues like wisdom, justice, courage, and moderation. This introspective process serves as a feedback loop, fostering greater self-awareness and guiding deliberate living. The purpose of this daily review isn't to dwell on mistakes but to observe, learn, and refine oneself continuously. Incorporating this practice into modern life fosters peace, completion, and a sense of accountability. By honestly reflecting on each day, one cultivates resilience, wisdom, and alignment with cherished ideals. Join us on this journey into the heart of Stoicism and the timeless wisdom of Marcus Aurelius. Every day presents a new opportunity to master oneself, embrace virtues, and live intentionally and wisely.